What's up, UConn fans? Mediocre Dan here, back with another game preview video. Today, taking a look at our opponent, the Texas Longhorns, as the Huskies in Texas clash at Madison Square Garden with UConn's first chance of winning a championship this season. Now, Texas comes in after having to go down to the wire against uh, a poor Louisville team. But Louisville actually did, did look pretty good yesterday. Um, maybe part of that was was Texas's play a, a little bit. But, um, yeah, Texas comes into this one having to play a full 40 minutes. UConn ran Indiana off the floor there in the second half. This Texas team is a good squad, though, so don't let that Louisville bro result fool you. Uh, they have a veteran starting lineup, including headliners Max Abemus, who has over 400 career three-pointers, the previous standout from Oral Roberts, a team that made a, a run as a 15 seed in the NCAA tournament a few years back. Um, a couple other transfers as well, and Ithiel Horton and uh, Caden Shedrick, both coming over from ACC squads, uh, Pittsburgh and UVA, respectively. But beyond them, there isn't a lot of depth uh, or experience, at least on this Texas squad. So that could be something that could factor in tonight as their starters had to play a, a lot of minutes against Louisville the other day, something that UConn, you know, they wear teams down and, and that could be a potential advantage for us going into this matchup. But really, there's three keys to this game that I'm keying in on. First, we're going to talk about is ball security. Uh, that was probably the Achilles heel for Louisville yesterday, probably win the game if it wasn't for some of their sloppy live ball turnovers that led to a bunch of Texas fast break points. Texas has over 20% of their points or just under 20% of their points actually on the season from uh, in transition. That's 16 and a half points per game uh, in transition, something UConn's going to really want to try to limit tonight. Uh, so be be careful with the ball, take care of the ball, limit live ball turnovers, and that takes a big part of what Texas does out of the game. Texas will get up in your face defensively to try to to, to do that. Uh, when they, they play that aggressive defense, it does leave opportunities with kind of overhelping to have our three-point shooters be open, so that could be an area where we could potentially exploit them tonight, uh, which brings me to point number two, which is win the three-point line. So Texas, their backcourt reminds me a lot of Xavier's backcourt from last year. They have three guards who can shoot the three ball really well, but it's not the only tool in their arsenal or not the only thing they look to do uh, offensively. They, they're not afraid to, to take the ball off the three-point line, step in for a mid-range two. Um, something that they did a bunch against Louisville. They take a bunch of mid-range shots, 45 mid-range shots on the year through their first four games. Um, that's over 10 attempts per game uh, from the mid-range. And obviously not the most efficient way to shoot the basketball, but they do it effectively. Um, so it's something that, that, that they're built on offensively. And that brings me to key three of the game, which is the defensive glass for UConn. Um, until the final five minutes of the game, Texas really made no effort at all to clean up any of their misses. It was basically one and done for them on the offensive side of the ball. And if we're going to be forcing them into tough mid-range twos um, with our long lanky defense, hopefully causing them to miss a bunch of shots, making sure that we're cleaning up the boards will be important. They really only crash with their their center. Um, everyone else kind of runs back as after the shot goes up, or at least that's what they were doing yesterday against Louisville, um, maybe trying to limit Louisville's transition. But uh, that's something that I think UConn is going to really want to focus in on is making sure that we, we, like we did against Indiana, have a very strong game on the boards. We do all three of those things. UConn matches up very well with Texas. But like I said, don't be fooled by Texas's results yesterday against Louisville. Louisville actually looked like a, like a decent squad for the first time under, under Coach Payne. Um, and Texas, I'm sure, is going to look at that game film and say there's a lot of areas that we can clean up, especially on the defensive side with some of the fouls that they were doing. They put Louisville to the line a bunch. Again, it's a defense, that aggressive defense, but um, they're, they're a good squad, and, and they're going to be someone that uh, is going to, play us for a full 40 minutes but have fun if you're going to the game tonight we'll be watching here down here in nashville from from tv uh look to hear the garden be rocking and loud like it was yesterday go huskies mediocre dan signing off let's go get the championship